All right, so here is a little bit more information on specific heat capacity. So we're gonna go through a couple examples. I'm gonna go through some definitions and um, hopefully this will help you understand it a little bit more. All right, so let's get started. So the definition of specific heat capacity, as we said before, is the amount of energy needed to raise one gram of a substance one degree Celsius. So it's basically, if you just have a small amount, how to increase it in temperature, how much energy or heat you need to put in, okay? And every substance has a different specific heat capacity, hence the word specific, okay? And you will always get those from a table, okay? All right, so let's look at a couple. How about a low specific heat capacity? What does that mean? Here's a table of a bunch of um, low specific heats. Um, you can tell they're under one. So a low specific heat capacity means that it needs only a little tiny amount of heat to cause the substance to increase its temperature, okay? But overall, what does that mean? It means it heats up very, very fast, okay? So if you put it out in the sun, whatever has a low specific heat, definitely under one, it's going to heat up fast. And usually we see this with metals, okay? So, and of course, that is a lot of our periodic table. So metals have a very low specific heat capacity. They heat up very fast. How about a high specific heat capacity? Well, there's a bunch of things that I could use, but I found three of them that you would probably be very familiar with. But a high specific heat capacity means that it takes a lot of energy to increase the temperature of substance. So you look to the tables, right? Notice everything is over one. The last table was everything was under one, okay? So it takes a lot of heat to make it hot, okay? And water has probably one of the highest specific heat capacity there is. So you can think about your pool in your backyard. It takes many, 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 many days of really hot nights and days to heat up your pool if you don't have a heater, okay? And that's because water has a high specific heat capacity. It takes a lot of energy to make it hot or even warm, right? All right, so let's do some comparisons. Okay, so here's some comparisons and um, you will have to answer the multiple choice questions here to go forward. Um, but which substance will heat up faster? We have lead, which has a specific heat capacity of 0.127 and wood that has a specific heat capacity of 1.8. So which substance will heat up faster? Take a minute, think about that. Good, so you, hopefully you said lead. Lead is a lower heat, um, it takes less energy to heat up, so it will heat up faster. Let's do another one. So the next one we have is water, which is 4.18, and wood, which is 1.8. So which one here would heat up faster? It means it takes less energy to make it hot. Hopefully you said wood. Wood is going to take less energy. It needs less energy to make it hot. Okay. One more. So which substance do you think between lead and titanium would heat take would heat up faster? I mean, if it's going to heat up faster, it's going to need less heat to make it hot, which means it's going to have a lower specific heat. So lead has a specific heat of 0.127. And titanium has a specific heat of 0.522. Remember, a lower specific heat capacity means it heats up faster, okay? They're opposites, right? So is it lead or titanium? Hopefully you said lead because it has a lower specific heat. It takes less energy to heat up than titanium, okay? So here's my last question for you guys. What would you want playgrounds that are outside in the sun getting heat all the time? What would you want it made from? Would you want it built from a substance with a low or a high specific heat capacity? Ask yourself, do I want the substance to heat up slow or fast? Remember, a low specific heat means it heats up fast. A high specific heat means it heats up slow, okay? Remember, high heats up slow, low heats up fast. So would you want a playground that you would have to touch and climb on, okay? Would you want it built out of a high specific heat or a low specific heat, okay? So I hope you are understanding a little bit more about specific heat and 
I will tell you on this playground, if you said you want it to have a high specific heat, you are right. I don't want it hot, right? So high specific heat means it's cooler and low specific heat means it's hotter, okay? Um, if you still have questions, please let me know.